Hermine may affect the holiday weekend here in the Susquehanna Valley. Meteorologist Matt Moore is tracking the storm. I gotta say, might is the key word okay, there. There's good. a very <laughs> fine line we're going to be walking here as Hermine makes its way up the coast. If it shifts a little farther to the east, not gonna be a big deal for us, but that western track is always something we are watching. Right now, Hermine is in the Gulf of Mexico. You can take a look at its current position. The 11 o'clock update, still a strong tropical storm with winds of 65 miles per hour. It is looking healthier, though, on, on the satellite the last few hours and radar showing some brighter bands beginning to move on shore. And it will be heading into Florida. National Hurricane Center does expect it to become a Category 1 hurricane at landfall sometime later this evening and through the early parts of tomorrow morning. 75 mile per hour winds there. Then it will be racing off to the Northeast through the Carolinas. And by Saturday morning, here's the expected position, probably going to be weakening out of a tropical storm by that point. But from there, that's the big question. And notice how that cone, it just expands. By the time we hit Sunday, it will be getting caught up in some upper level energy that could slow it down and bring it back to the coast. In terms of rainfall here along the shore, it is going to be quite excessive. Here in the Susquehanna Valley, though, as you can see, going to be a little bit of a close call for us. So pleasant Friday in the rundown with increasing clouds into Saturday. Hermine's impacts, if any, will be felt mostly on Sunday here in the Susquehanna Valley, if any is the key word there. And Hermine slowly pulling away on Labor Day. So a tight track with this system, a shift to the east, big differences in our forecast.